Hello, it's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. On today's screencast, we are going to go over an update for Live RealSense 2. Let's get started. A few days ago, I received a note from the Intel RealSense development group saying that they had implemented our CUDA for Jetson TX2 enhancements. Let's take a look at the pull request. This is the pull request that they integrated. They have some performance improvement numbers. As you can see, the speed up is about four to six times with CUDA versus without CUDA. I'll leave this in a link in the description below and in the article. Let's do an install of this. I updated the scripts. On the Jetson Hacks account on GitHub, there is a repository named Build Live RealSense 2TX. To install Live RealSense, there are two steps. First, we have to build a patched kernel. Let's do that. First, let's set our MVP model. This cranks up the CPU clocks. Let's clone our GitHub repository. Switch over to the repository directory. And now we will build our patched kernel. We are on a Jetson TX2 that has just been flashed with L4T 28.2.1 using Jetpack 3.2.1. This is a shorthand way of building a kernel with the patches built into it. You will probably want to modify these scripts or go through an alternate route to build the kernel based on your particular circumstances. The procedure is slightly different on a Jetson TX1. I'll leave a card here and a link in the description below on how to do that. Let's open up a system monitor. Builds complete. Please reboot for changes to take effect. I can do that. Let me reboot and set everything back up. Okay, the new kernel is installed. Let's build LibRealSense. Let's take a look at the install LibRealSense script. One of the changes to Live RealSense is that CMake 3.8 or above is required. The version that comes with the Jetson is CMake version 3.5.1. So we are going to have to build CMake. Basically, we install our dependencies and then we build CMake, and then we build Live RealSense. Note that we do not install the new version of CMake, we just leave it in the home folder and use it. When we invoke CMake to make our make file in Live RealSense, we just call it from the home directory. This way it does not overwrite the stock version. You can, of course, uninstall the old version and install the new version if you'd like. So let's build this baby. Switch back over to the build live real sense repository. Make sure that no cameras are currently attached. Okay. Continue.
Installation complete. Okay, let's clear this baby off. Plug in the camera here and go for a demo. The demos are in CD slash. Clear. Okay, we're all started up here. Let's turn on the RGB camera. There I am. We're in a low light situation, so the quality of the picture isn't quite what you'd expect, but that's okay. It's more of a demonstration of getting it to work. <laughs> so in the background, you might hear parrots. So let me tell you a quick story about the parrots. Back in the 1930s, they used to have a bush gardens here. Bush is well known in the United States as Anheuser-Busch. Basically, it was a beer garden that they had a bunch of birds and animals. When the gardens closed, some of the parrots got out and they kind of liked Southern California, so they started breeding. So now there are literally hundreds <laughs> of these parrots that live around here and they are the loudest, nastiest animals you've ever heard. But anyway, back to the real sense. So when we look at our little stream overlay, we see that we get our 30 frames a second. It does the uh, RGB translation in CUDA. Turn on our stereo module. I don't have my stripy shirt on. I hate the stripy shirt. And of course, you know who else is here. Let's close this down. Let's look at the point cloud viewer. So you can see that we get better performance than in our previous videos. You can still see that it's still not quite right on the Jetson, but it's a start. Lean back a little bit here. So it looks like we get probably 15 frames a second somewhere in that area in displaying the point cloud. Let's set up our low GPU graph. Okay, so we can see that we're using some of our GPU here to generate the point cloud. Let's switch back over to the RealSense viewer. So I'll finish up th with another part of the parrot story. The other day I was walking through the neighborhood and there's a wanted poster for someone who had lost their pet parrot. <laughs> had anybody seen the pet parrot? The pet parrot was green, much like all of the other parrots that are roaming feral throughout the neighborhood. The reason that I made this video is the next video is going to be covering using QT Creator and CMake to actually go through and kind of debug an application like this. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Thank you.